Konnichiwa. Today I wanted to have a little chat about EDC pens. I carry a Victorinox in my pocket at all times, pretty much. And I always get the plus scales in which you get a the little Victorinox pressurized pen. Excellent, so handy. It takes up no room in your knife, it's there if you need it. But if you are actually writing with this thing, then that is a bit of a pain. It's fine for emergency use, but I do quite often like to carry a separate pen. So what are some of the best options for everyday carry? Let's have a look at a few that I favour. Uh, I did do another video uh, about the Fisher Space Pen, which is an excellent choice for EDC, but I do have some niggles with this. Another really popular choice in the EDC community is the venerable Parker Jotter. Wonderful pocket pen. Then uh, other options, we've got the Zebra Mini Expands. <whistles> And then I just discovered, thanks to another a personal YouTube, this, the Online Mini. Really tiny, but a great option. Let's have a look at these. So the Parker Jotter, this classic streamlined beauty. This has been about since, I think, 1954. It was first produced, been in production ever since. Excellent, stylish, elegant pen. A really solid clicky. I love the way these look, so sleek. I've got loads of these different finishes and everything. The pocket clip, this sometimes gets complaints that it's a bit weak. I've found this really sturdy. I love the way that it sits very high up on the pen, so when it's in your pocket, just the clip and that little bit peeps out. That's great. Takes a ton of different refills. Search for Parker style G2 refills. Um, yeah, can fit the Fisher Space Pen refills if you want the ultimate in reliability. Great option. Fairly large compared to the other ones that I've got on this list. Um, but yeah, beautiful pen. I use these at work all the time. One-handed clicky pen. Really quick, really good, really stylish, relatively cheap. A classic. Fisher Space Pen. Like I say, I did do another video just on these, a short one. Um, but yeah, really popular EDC pen. Built like a tank, absolutely solid. That'll last you a lifetime. Takes the excellent Fisher Space Pen refills. All right in outer space, underwater, through grease, in extremes of low and high temperature. Absolutely solid. Great pen, do some excellent finishes. These have got really expensive, at least in the UK recently. And yeah, my problem with these is if you don't have a clip with them, and these are prone to wander out of your pockets and escape into the wild. I've lost a couple of these over the years just from carrying in my pocket. They're a bit pricey to do that. This is lovely, this Tad Edition one. Really nice from Heine Haynes. Beautiful. Love it. But yeah, the clips that you can get for these aren't that great. They're a friction fit. They push them onto the barrel of the pen there. They can slip off. I've glued one of them onto one of my pens. The glue's made a mess. Yeah, that's annoying about these pens. Still a great option for EDC. Other smaller options. Zebra Expands. Nice, tiny little pen. And you just zip do that. It expands to a decent size for writing. You've got plenty of purchase there. Great option. Nice little clip. Clip it to a pocket. It's tiny. Much smaller than the Parker Jotter. Much smaller, really, than the um, Fisher Space Pen. Uncap the Space Pen. You got a nice full size pen there. Great stuff. This one, clip it onto your pocket in your wallet, whatever. There you go. It's a great option. Can't get the pressurized refills for that. And this actually, annoyingly, supposed to take D1 refills. The, the refills in this are proprietary. They look identical to D1 refills, but they are not. D1 refills do not fit in here. Um, they'll fall out. So that's annoying. And then another YouTuber switched me on to these just a day or so ago. I ordered one off Jeff Bezos' big shop. Online Mini, it's called. A German pen. This is a tiny one, but if you hold it there, you've just about got enough room for it to rest. Or I have. If your hands are absolutely enormous, you might struggle. But yeah, that works. It's a little twisty. Four quid. This does take D1 refills, all metal construction, handy little clip. This is a great option. That'll fit in your bifold wallet or whatever. Yeah, I really like this one. It does take standard D1 refills, so you've got a ton of options for refills. That's a great choice. Yeah, real nice. I've got loads of other pens. These would be my sort of considered choices for EDC. What else do you guys use that's good? 
I know there are a ton of tactical pens out there that could be used to double up as self-defense stuff. The tactical pens, they look a bit much for me. They look a bit OTT, most of them, to be honest. What do you guys think? What do you guys use? Any opinions on these? Love to hear your thoughts. Hope you're having a great day and see you soon. Bye.